we say the Pledge of Allegiance. We, you know, we uh, talk about the Constitution in class. You know, there's a lot of references to God about things we talk about. So what this is, again, it mirrors Texas's bill, and it is an opt-in. It's not a mandatory. It's an opt-in should a teacher want to teach about the Ten Commandments. And that's really all it is. It's not favoring one religion over another. That sounds like favoring one religion over another is exactly what this bill would do. It would create in the law permission to teach one religion, whereas other religions don't have that protection and presumably that's not allowed for them to do it. Um, if you wanted to make this not favor, then you, well, you just wouldn't have the law at all. Um, or you would make the law, you would structure this law so that if a teacher did want to teach about one specific religion, then they have the ability to do so. Uh, now that does go into, well, we'll get into the separation of church and state stuff in a minute here. Um, according to my research in Texas, the bill did not get a vote in the house before the deadline. So it is not a law in Texas. That's funny. So as part of his justification for this bill being able to become a law, he compared it to Texas, where he said a similar bill was brought. And so since they did it, we can do it. No big deal, right? The only problem is that that bill never became a law. Legislators can write any bill they want. It doesn't mean it should be a law or it can become a law. And so essentially what he just did is he referenced a bill that went nowhere as justification for his bill going somewhere. 